Hello and thank you so much for clicking onto this video. We're up in a different room. It's been a while since I've been up in this room and I'm sorry the lighting's a little bit off and there's noise outside and actually myself I'm not that much better either. I'm I was doing cleaning and I'm covered in bleach so I threw this cardigan on just to cover it up because I couldn't wait to actually do this unboxing. It's not a fab fit fun unboxing, although I do get excited about them. It's a Gucci unboxing. And I was luckily lucky enough to receive this from my daughter for Mother's Day. Mother's Day is a little bit earlier here in Ireland and the UK than everywhere else. So um I've already opened it. <laughs> so I have um but I just couldn't wait to do the video to get using the item. And the other reason for uploading the video is not to brag or anything like that. It's just it's the sort of video that I watch and also it might be helpful for somebody because Gucci accessories it is an accessory are not cheap. And I like to see what I'm spending my money on before I splash the cash. And although the companies upload their photographs and stuff like that, I just can't help feeling some of them are photoshopped. And I just like to see the item in real life. So that's the reason for the video. So I will get started and unbox it. So. The item, she bought the item direct from Gucci themselves and she said it came within a couple of days. Really, really efficient. And obviously it's came, she gave me the box because it came in this sort of plain box. And I'm guessing that's just to deter from theft, theft in the mail system. Um, so yes, so we'll unbox it. Now, the outside of it's plain, but the inside of it has that there. That green is so beautiful. I love that color of green. And there, I don't think this camera is good enough to pick it up, but there is like a pattern inside the green that Gucci uses in a lot of their packaging. And so we have that. And inside we have the item. Let's just set that aside for a minute. We have the receipt inside now. I haven't looked at the receipt. Um, I'm going to put the price in the description box because I'm going to look at it anyway. Um, but I imagine I know roughly about the price of it anyway. There is also, oh yeah, there is also a little thank you card and even the envelopes. Sorry, I should have showed you the envelopes. They have that same pattern, but it's embossed. You can feel a texture in it. And then it has Gucci on the other side. And also, she was asked at the checkout online whether she wanted a store bag or these little linen bags here, which you can use. Well, you can use them for anything, I guess, and they're multifunctional, but um, you can use them as a dust bag as well. And it says Gucci on them, and it says Gucci on both sides. And it's almost like a canvasy linen texture and I definitely will use them because items stored in my wardrobe, uh, it's not good. <laughs> There's a lot in there. So these are great just to protect the item. Right. The item itself. So I have opened it and managed to put the ball back on again. Not very good, but I was determined to. Absolutely love the pack. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm sure if you were at all crafty, you could use that bow and make it into something nice. And even the box as well. I tend to keep boxes, and really, I'm running out of room. I don't have enough room, but um, I'm sure you could use the box for storage of different things, or even regifting. Um, and the box has that same sort of texture on it as well. Lovely. And you have a little tissue paper and the tissue paper. <laughs> the tissue paper has that same sort of pattern. Probably not going to pick it up there, but that's it there. And I let it slip there, but it is a Gucci scarf. Now, I'm saying scarf. 
um, I use the term loosely because lots of the designers call these type of scarves handbag scarves. Um, I think Hermes called them Twillies, Dior calls them Mitza. I'm not sure what Gucci calls them, so if I find out, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but I think it's wrong just to call them handbag scarves because you can use them for multiple things. The little tag was in the box there, and I'm guessing these are the tags. If you go into the store, uh, the scarf would have came with these tags. There was also uh, like a little curl label attached to the scarf. It has actually come off in the process of me putting it back into the packaging. It was very, very just lightly stitched on with one stitch. And I think that was because you were meant to remove that tag anyway. I mean, you couldn't wear the scarf. It was quite a big, chunky tag with multiple layers. So, yep, yeah, this is a little scarf. I'm just going to wrap it now. So, I'm not sure what range this is from, but it's from one of my favourite ranges. It's been out for at least a few years now. Um, I know it's something to do with floral and garden, <laughs> um, but I'm guessing it's one of their sort of favourites because it's it's just lovely. It has the sort of original monogram in the background, but then you're hit with this pop of colour as well, which I think is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm going to try and show you as much as the detail as I can without it going blurry on the screen. dimensions on the screen as well I'm not sure what they are like now I have a couple of these scars from different designers I have a couple of um Christian Dior ones mitzes some tells me that the mitzes are slightly longer but there wouldn't be that much gorgeous now on the other side this is just plain pink there's no monogram or anything my daughter said there was a similar one that had the monogram on the other side but it she said it was very bold looking and just didn't that the sort of look of the scarf and she didn't think i would like it so she got me the plain one i, I do like the plain one i know the christian Dior ones that i have have like a pattern on one side and then the monogram on the other so that's the Gucci label. Again, that is that very, very... Now, it's a bit more sewn in compared to the the Cura, the Cura label. Um, but it would easy. I mean, just there's just a couple of threads holding that on. So you can remove that as well. And there you go. The label just, it's set up right there or something like that. It's probably lying on the floor somewhere <laughs> but absolutely I love them and one of the reasons that I do love these types of scarves is because they are multifunctional you can use them for um, to decorate a lot of things now a lot of people wear them on their wrist just wrapped around like that and then tied I love bangles and things like that so that sort of idea appeals to me and I've worn my sort of Dior ones like that way. Um, the other way is sort of the traditional scarf around the neck and you can again do that different ways. I mean again because it has the two sides you can <laughs> there's endless possibilities. You can tie it into a knot on the front, on the side, at the back and then choose whichever side you want to show. Um, again, now you can wear it too as um, a, a scarf decoration. On A lot of people wear these on the handle just to prevent the oils from the hands 
damaging and discoloring uh, the leather or you could even just tie it on a bow uh, around the handle of the bag now I made a cheeky little purchase yesterday so that video might be coming up of me unboxing and then trying to put this round the bag and of course there's the other way too and it's Oh yeah, I'll end up wearing it like too, is around the head as a hairband or around a ponytail as a bow, something like that. Now, I don't know about you, but anytime I wear them like sort of like that and tied in a knot around my head, they keep slipping unless I clip them in, which is super annoying and I've nearly lost a few scarves like that. But I seen a little trick on YouTube and I, I just cannot remember the lady's name that had it but I thought it was a genius idea and I'm not sure why I didn't even think of it it's so good um you just take a hairband like this hold on a second I, I just tied my hair back out because it looked weird when I took the hairband off ideally you want to have a hairband that's flat it doesn't have the knot um because it'll work better but if you find the center of the scarf and then the center of the hairband and place it on the middle now if a, if it was a flat one you can create a knot by just tying it at the top there but if you just want it flat then just start wrapping um, around each arm of the hairband um, depending on what side you want shown obviously I want the monogram side showing so I will continue just wrapping that round like that now if you had more time to spend on it probably do a neater job but I think the idea too is to try and get it as tight as you possibly can because you want to you want to go and try and tuck the end up underneath now I'm probably not doing a really good job to show you but just if you tuck the end back onto where you wrapped it there and then do the other side I hold a second now I absolutely did not do a good job with that the knot is still that's the problem with that the knot is still showing but it doesn't look too bad and it looks as if you've already you've tied the knot um but if we just quickly put it on like that and then you can still see that it is a good gee scarf so and really really liking that idea and that solves the problem of it slipping off your head i thought that was really really great so that is the end of this video i can't think any other information that i needed to tell you but if you have any questions please feel free to put them in the description or uh, in the description box in the comments and i will get back to you as soon as i can if you've made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a lovely day or a lovely evening wherever you are um goodbye bye bye